Welcome to this Hockey Inside Out Show bonus episode. I'm Stu Count of the Gazette, joined by former Canadians teammates Chris Nyland and Rick Green, who both have 1986 Stanley Cup rings, and our hockey analytics guru, Andrew Berkshire. Cole Caulfield started to score again. I'm sure Canadians fans are thrilled to see that. Um, Knuckles, does that give you confidence about him going into next season that maybe he gets back to being that 30 or maybe even 40 goal scorer that fans are hoping he will be? Yeah, listen, I think he'll get there again. He, listen, I know he gets the opportunities, power play, all that stuff, but five on five scoring is something, um, you know, <laughs> takes a lot of work. You got to get to them greasy areas, get in around the net. And he, he's shown that he's done that um, in, in more recently. And I think consistency with him and goal scorers all go through it. Um yeah, have those little lulls. Um, but, you know, it's nice to see him doing this. But, listen, what happens this year is not going to have anything to do with next year. He's going to have to come in with a mindset that <clears throat> he's going to be more consistent and just something that um, he's going to have to show up and do night after <laughs> night in, night out. And I'm not saying he wasn't trying. He was getting opportunities. He just wasn't burying that thing. And um, you know, hopefully next year, um, you know, he'll 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 reach a mark that he hasn't yet in the NHL. Rick? Yeah, I mean, look, at, I've always said uh, I really enjoy watching Cole because, you know, when he's on the ice, he's bringing something. He's always moving. You can never know where he's going to be. And uh, before he was struggling to finish. And now he's finding the net and doing what he does best is Shooting the puck and getting it to the uh, to those areas that are allowing him to uh, to get those goals and you know I'm I'm not overly worried about this guy he's just got an instinct that's uh, that's special he will uh, you know you talk about his overall game and his his ability to play uh, you know both ends of the ice you got to give him credit for that because he is much more involved uh, and you know. The bottom line of all this, he's a he's a natural scorer. He will score, and I, I really enjoy watching him because he has that knack to get to those areas. And of course, uh, when you're playing with a guy like Suzuki or Slavkowski, those guys are complimenting him in the way of giving him opportunity to uh, to make things happen. But uh, nothing but great things to say about him. Yeah, I, I have no uh, doubts about Cole Caulfield getting back to what we expect next year. I think, if anything, this season should teach uh, fans and analysts that nobody is immune from an off season in the NHL. This is a really hard league to play in. And, you know, Austin Matthews, best goal scorer in the league right now, maybe on pace to be one of the best of all time. It's weird to say it, but last season when he scored 40, that was an off year. The two seasons around it, he's at 60 and 66. And the years, year before that, he scored 41 and 52. So if Austin Matthews can have an off year, and yeah, an off year for him is very little. Alex Ovechkin had off years where he scored 32 and 38. This can happen to Cole Caulfield too. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's going to be forever, but in order to be that elite goal scorer in the NHL, I think it was Rick that was saying, uh, a couple weeks ago that the Canadians probably have a plan to address what went wrong this year and work with Cole to to find little ways to improve his finishing ability as the league adjusts to him and he, as he adjusts to the league. I feel like in order to be an elite player in this league, you can never rest. You're yeah. always trying to find a way to improve because everybody else is doing the same. Anytime that you're satisfied, you're going to have something happen like this. And I'm not saying that's how Cole was this season, but these things can happen. And as a star player or a potential star player, you got to be aware of that and ready to put the work in to get to the next level. Yeah. And you also got to remember he was coming off shoulder surgery also this season, which you know, for sure, I'm sure had some kind of impact on him. It's also been hard to explain. I mean, his shooting percentage is 8.1 this season. Last season was 16.5. Mm. It's still top 10 in the NHL in shots. He's getting his chances for whatever reason, you know, they haven't gone in. Marty St. Louis spoken so often about how, Cole is a better all-around player this season. And we see that like nobody on the Canadians back checks harder than Cole Caulfield, especially when he gets caught. And his effort level is all over the ice. And 
Uh, I'm, you know, I'd be surprised if he doesn't score 30 goals next season. Uh, he's a natural goal scorer. And as Marty St. Louis said, I, I'm not going to teach him how to score goals, but I'll teach him how to be a better all-around player. And I think we're seeing that. Anyway, that's it for this uh, HIO Show bonus episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hockey Inside Out YouTube channel. Go to montrealgazette.com slash newsletters to sign up for the Hockey Inside Out newsletter. And of course, go to hockeyinsideout.com where you'll find all the latest Canadians news every day. 